Hi there, and welcome to episode 7 in our MPC Studio Masterclass series. Now in this episode, we're going to be covering the process of chopping some vocals, then using our new Vocal Suite plugins to add today's retuning effect, along with some lo-fi plugin textures to add over our beat. Now we can actually use MPC Studio's pads to chop our samples in real time, and then take these chops and really add some interesting textures to give us that really modern vocal sound. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. hey. Don't wait for me. Now, so to chop up vocals, it's very straightforward. So first I'm gonna do, I let's select a sample, and then we press mode and we go to sample edit, and this will then display our sample on the MPC software. Now we can now use the pads to trigger the sample I know, I know, I know and chop in real time. You know. So as I hit each pad, this is creating the slice directly to the pad. Now, once you finish your chops, we can actually edit the start and end points on each individual pad by selecting either the sample start or the sample end point, and then select the pad. And we can now use our data wheel to adjust the start and end points. If you hold down shift, you can actually do smaller increments to the start and end points. So once we're happy with all of our sample chops, we need to turn this into a program so we can now add this to our beat. So within the software, there's a number of ways that we can do this. We could select non-destructive editing and we can create a program or we can extract these as completely new samples. So let's press new program and press do it. And now we'll have a new program with all of our vocal chops. So let's select a new track, track 13, shift and program select, make sure we're on drums, then program select again. And then we're gonna to scroll to a new kit that's been created called Trap Soul Vocals 1. So if you've got that highlighted, I know you'll now hear all of the chops across the pads. So we can now use these chops over our track. But what I wanna do is add some effects over these chops. So what we can do, we're on our program channel. This means that any effects that we apply will affect all of the chops. Now, if we press the pad icon, this means that any effects that we apply will be applied only to that individual pad. But we can also load and save effects racks, which have got custom effects already created for you. So let's select vocals, and then there's a whole bunch of presets you can select here with popular current radio sounds. So let's try this. I know, I know, I know. And now all of the chops will have this preset. Now this is a very easy way to apply effects over vocals. So what we're gonna do as well, we're gonna color our pads. So we're gonna go down to program, pad color, and here we can just give all of our pads one solid color so we know that these are just simple vocal chops. So we give that blue. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate back to track 12 where I had all of my original vocal chops within the masterclass. They're on bank C and D. So let's select these and hit record and play. In our next episode, we're going to be arranging our beat into more of a song structure by taking all of our elements and bringing them together. So until next time, see you then.